What do I look for in talent? I look for somebody who's entertaining, whether, they're, whether they have radio experience or experience being a bartender or if they're a comedian. Um, I just look for somebody who's entertaining, somebody that can tell a good story. You know, I think we have to change the way we think about hiring people or, or promoting people in our business. What we've typically done is we've, we've taken radio announcers from small markets and tried to put them into larger markets because we thought, you know, it was all about succession planning and we should grow people's careers. Well, my thinking has changed in the last few years where at the end of the day, what the customer wants, what the listener wants is entertainment. So we should be getting the most entertaining people on the radio, not hiring radio people and hope that they're entertaining. Let's hire entertaining people and put them on the radio. Right? And not everybody can make that transition. You know, some of the worst mista hiring mistakes I've made have, been, have involved comedians. You know, I've hired some comedians thinking, well, they're, they're funny in a club, so they should be able to be funny on the radio. No, hard transition for comedians because they don't have a live audience in front of them to bounce off of, right? They're stuck in the room with the headphones on all by themselves and they have a hard time making that transition. Um, you know, hiring by hope, hoping that this person would somehow find their way and become entertaining on the radio if I worked with them hard enough. I don't think you can necessarily do that either. I think they've, they've either, either got it or they don't. You know, the, the, the great personalities have something. They've got it. And it's hard to define what that it is, but when I hear it, I know it, and let's get that person onto the radio and let them fly.